Hello, my name is Royal Prince Franklin Vanderbilt Jr. And I am from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I am a drummer, singer, and songwriter, and actor. Uh, currently, I am the drummer for Lenny Kravitz, but in the past, I played for Shaka Khan, Stanley Clark, Stevie Wonder, and Richie Kotzen. Um, I learned the different genres of music uh, because growing up, my father had all of these records in the house. You know, there were jazz records, there were funk records, earth, wind, and fire, rock records. It was different things in the house. So I would play these records and just listen. The way I learned how to play drums is by turning on the radio, turning on the record player, and listening to what I heard, listening to the drum grooves, and, and try to copy them. That's how I learned how to play. Like, I just simply listened to what was happening. And I, I would spend all day doing just that. Historically, Lenny is known for playing all the instruments on his record. You know, but um, looking back in my career, I've been hired by drummers. Shaka Khan's a drummer. Stanley Clark loves drummers. Stevie Wonder's a drummer. Lenny Kravitz is a drummer. So the fact that these drummers uh, specifically chosen me to play drums, I take that in a compliment, uh, you know, in itself. You know, so I, I'm very appreciative and, and uh, I'm honored for that, to be hired by other drummers to play the music. Um, will I ever play on a Lenny Kravitz record one day? Um, maybe, maybe not. But either way, uh, it, it, it's great working with him and uh, I have no complaints. The tour has been fun. It's, it's just, it's like traveling with your family. That's how it is. It's a lot of laughs and a lot of emotions flying in the air, but when we get on stage, it's like a hand and glove. It fits, works. Uh, I do have a couple of uh, songs on iTunes, and I'm currently in the studio working on some things that uh, I want to release uh, sometime next year uh, in film and, uh, and other projects as well. Um, I started singing in my early 20s. Now, growing up, I knew I could sing, but I was too shy to sing. I, I was so... Uh, distracted by the drums. You know, I, I enjoyed playing drums so much that I didn't want to sing. Uh, I was too, uh, you know, shy to sing in church. My aunt, she would push me to sing, but I was, no, I don't want to sing. I don't want to sing. I just want to play. But, you know, as I got older and, and, and as I realized that uh, I could write some lyrics, when, when I realized that I was able to express what I was feeling with my words, I said, okay, when well, you know, someone has to sing them. So uh, I would work at lyrics, uh, work at music. It was easy for me to translate music from my brain onto the drums or onto the piano or, or communicate music to someone else to help me get it across, you know. But, you know, once upon a time, I was too embarrassed to sing because I wasn't used to it, but I, I've become much more comfortable with it, um, not realizing that I will be singing on stage with Lenny Kravitz years later. That's another honor, you know. You're doing backing vocals? Yeah. yeah. And you like it? I love it. I love it because it's another form of, it's another form, another level of challenge with the instrument because it uh, makes you focus not only in a percussive way, but in a musical way, because when you sing, you have to divide your attention with your drumming and your delivery of your notes, making sure you're singing in tune, make, making sure the distribution of your breath is correct with your physical movement and your projection, you know, so that's a completely different challenge.